All right. How do you like the new look? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So I've never covered this operating system before, but still going along the trend of Windows throwbacks. Today, I'm going to be covering Windows 8. And I'm going to show you exactly how to recover files from a computer like your PC that's running Windows 8 or 8.1. If that's you, stick around. Let's go. So of course, if you just lost your files, welcome to the club of mini heart attack right in your throat. <laughs> Everyone who subscribes to this channel has been there and trust me, it's not fun. I know. But today though, you're in luck because I'm going to be showing you exactly how to recover your files from your Windows 8 or 8.1 operating system on your PC and I'm going to give you just about the best chance you've got. However, with Windows 8, things are a little bit different. See, on this channel, typically when I talk about Windows, I'm talking about Windows 10, which is a great operating system, and I love it, and I use it personally, but there's a lot of proprietary measures that go into file recovery based specifically on Windows 10 that don't really apply to, say, Windows 7 or Windows 8. But there is one method that, instead of being limited as a proprietary piece of software to one operating system, grows along with the operating system as it grows, progresses, and goes through different versions. And that is file recovery software. So I've gone through a lot of file recovery software in my day, and the one that I always come back to and use the most is Disk Drill. I actually used it just a couple weeks ago as I work with a lot of photo, video, and audio stuff professionally, and so obviously I work with a lot of external storage. And having Disk Drill at the ready at all times is really clutch. It's fast, reliable, and easy to use, and it works on Windows 7, 10, and 8, which is obviously what we're looking for. It uses some of the most advanced recovery algorithms in the game, and one of the great thing is is that with the advent of Disk Drill 4, you can actually recover 500 megabytes of files for free, which is more than enough for a bunch of photos or a bunch of songs or documents, even some videos if they're not massive. So I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty good to me, so I'm going to walk you through the whole thing coming up here in just a minute. But the first thing that we need to do and what I need to talk to you a little bit about real quick first is the premise of file recovery and how file deletion actually works. So when a file is deleted, it's not completely gone. Seems kind of crazy, but the file is literally just sitting there waiting to be overwritten later on. And that's when the real damage is done. So if you just deleted your files like a few minutes ago, the prognosis is very, very good that you'll be able to get those back because they're just sitting there hidden on your drive waiting for them to be uncovered or overwritten. However, no matter what the circumstances are, the main thing you need to remember is that the, the goal of file recovery is not only getting your files back or unhiding them, but preventing this overwriting that I'm talking about. And this will uncover more, and you'll see what I mean more as, as we go through the tutorial, but that's the main thing that you need to remember. We're trying to keep these files intact as much as possible. So if you're using, say, an external hard drive like this, you wanna stop using it as much as possible until you have the chance to take these steps that I'm about to share with you. And that's how you get the best possible chance of file recovery. So, no more talking, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so to get started, we need to download Disk Drill, which will be provided via the link in the description of this video. Now, if the files that you're trying to recover are, say, on your desktop or in your downloads or anywhere on your C drive, you're going to want to download and install Disk Drill to an external drive, like an external hard drive or an external thumb drive, for example. These are great ways to make sure that, again, your files are not overwritten and remain intact for you to recover. And once you've installed Disk Drill, go ahead and open it up. And you can follow the first time tutorials if you want, but then it will bring you to the Disk Drill interface, which by default is set to the disk list. So this is where all the drives and various other USB storage devices are connected to your computer are shown, like your main hard drive, any external USB drives, etc. So at this point, if you have not already, go ahead and connect the drive that you want to scan to your computer. And once it shows up, you'll see it in the disk list right here. Now, all you have to do is select it, choose your scanning method, and click search for lost data. Now this will begin to run Disk Drill's advanced scanning algorithms, like I mentioned, on your drive. And of course, depending on the size, it will take a little bit of time. So I will come back to you once it's done, and we'll continue. All right, so it's all finished, and at this point, we can review the files that have been found on the drive just like this. And it works a lot like a Windows Explorer file structure in that you can browse the different folders for the files you want based on the type of scan that was used to find those files. You can also search for files by category on the left-hand side or in the search bar in the top right if you know the file by name. 
Now, one more thing that I absolutely have to bring up, again, goes along with the whole making sure files are intact and not overwritten theory, and that is you need to make sure that they are previewable. And what this means is it essentially verifies that those files are 100% recoverable and intact, ready to be recovered by disk drill. And you can check this that once you find the files that you want to recover, just click the little preview button to the far right, and that will bring up a live preview of that file in its entirety if it is recoverable by disk drill. Again, if it's recoverable. And if it is, that means it is 100% recoverable by disk drill and you're good to go. Now, once you have the file, select it with a check mark like so. Click recover and choose your save location. Now again, make sure you don't save your files to the same place you're trying to recover from. So if I was trying to recover from my desktop, I wouldn't save my files to my desktop. But since my files are coming from an external USB device, I can recover my files to my desktop, no problem. And then click OK, which will export the files to a safer location where you can open them and use them and they're all set to go. All right, that is how it's done. That's how you recover your files from a Windows 8 PC. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, always be sure to leave us a like down below. Also, if you have any questions or things you want me to cover in a future video, don't forget to let us know down below in the comments section. I always love hearing from you guys. And until next time, my name is Andrew, and thank you for watching.